My family has a very long history with mental illness and depression specifically. My parents actually both took their lives before I was 30. The mental health crisis in the U.S. appears to be getting worse. In a 2023 Gallup survey, 29% of U.S. adults reported being diagnosed with depression at some point in their lifetime, a jump of more than 10 points from 2015. The share of Americans being treated for depression has hit nearly 18%. The highest rate since Gallup began measuring depression using its current form of data. Researchers at Mount Sinai Center for Neuromodulation report around 3 million Americans have what they call severe treatment resistant depression. But now, thanks to a scientific breakthrough, help may be on the way. Researchers are currently testing deep brain stimulation as a remedy for people with extreme depression and say the results are encouraging. Doctors believe federal approval may come soon to the United States. The Mayo Clinic says the procedure is already approved for treatment of Parkinson's and epilepsy. Now Abbott Laboratories, which manufactures deep brain stimulators, is looking to get the device approved to treat depression, and the FDA has agreed to expedite the decision-making process. Emily Hollenbeck, who suffers from depression, decided after exhausting all efforts to give the new treatment a try. At first I was blown away because the concept of it seems so just intense, like it's brain surgery, you have wires embedded in your brain. Here's how it works. Surgeons implant electrodes into the brain, which are attached to a device placed under the skin in the chest. The device controls electrical stimulation and delivers low voltage pulses. Very, very simply, DBS, deep brain stimulation, is a pacemaker for the brain. Researchers say the stimulation creates electricity that speaks the brain's language. A doctor explained normal brain electrical activity resonates freely in what he likened to a dance. In a brain with depression, the dancers get stuck. DBS works to free the dancer, or circuit, allowing the brain to function normally. For Hollenbeck, the results have been life-changing. If I hadn't had DBS, I'm pretty sure I not, would not be alive today. Despite promising research, there are risks like infections, stroke, and bleeding. Setbacks have also been a part of the research. At first, large studies showed little to no difference in treated and untreated groups, while other doctors contend the research only focused on the short-term results and the treatments were not personalized. Later research revealed DBS provided long-term stable relief for patients. And now treatments are tailored to individuals with neuroscientists using brain scanning technology to find the precise location to implant the electrodes. Abbott is reportedly scheduling a large-scale clinical DBS trial this year.